A Mother Showing the Portrait of Her Child, by Jean Ingelow, FML. Living Child or Pictured Cherub, ne'er o'ermatched its baby grace, and the mother, moving nearer, looked it calmly in the face, then with slight and quiet gesture, and with lips that scarcely smiled, said, a portrait of my daughter when she was a child. Easy thought, was hers to fathom, nothing hard her glance to read, for it seemed to say, no praises for this little child I need, if you see, I see far better, and I will not feign to care for a stranger's prompt assurance that the face is fair. Softly clasped and half extended, she her dimpled hands doth lay, so they doubtless placed them, saying, Little one, you must not play, and while yet his work was growing, this the painter's hand hath shown, that the little heart was making pictures of its own. Is it warm in that green valley, vale of childhood, where you dwell? Is it calm in that green valley, round whose bourn such great hills swell? Are there giants in the valley, giants leaving footprints yet? Are there angels in the valley? Tell me, I forget. Answer, answer, for the lilies, little one, overtop you much, and the mealy gold within them you can scarcely reach to touch. Oh how far their aspect differs, looking up and looking down. You look up in that green valley, valley of renown. Are there voices in the valley, lying near the heavenly gate? When it opens, do the harp strings, touched within, reverberate? When, like shooting stars, the angels to your couch at nightfall go, are their swift wings heard to rustle? Tell me, for you know, yes, you know, and you are silent, not a word shall asking. When, little mouth more sweet than rosebud, fast it locks the secret in. Not a glimpse upon your present you unfold to glad my view. Ah, what secrets of your future I could tell to you. Sunny present, thus I read it, by remembrance of my past. It's today and it's tomorrow or as lifetimes vague and vast, and each face in that. Green valley takes for you an aspect mild, and each voice grows soft in saying, Kiss me, little child. As a boon the kiss is granted. Baby mouth, your touch is sweet, takes the love without the trouble from those lips that with it meet, gives the love, O oh pure, O oh tender, of the valley where it grows, but the baby heart, receiveth more than it bestows comes the future to the present, ah, she saith, too blithe of mood, why that smile which seems to whisper, I am happy, God is good, God is good, that truth eternal sown for you in happier years, I must tend it in my shadow, water it with tears, ah, sweet present, I must lead thee by a daylight more subdued, there must teach thee low to whisper, I am mournful, God is good, peace, thou future, Clouds are coming, stooping from the mountain crest, but that sunshine floods the valley, let her, let her rest. Comes the future to the present, child, she saith, and wilt thou rest? How long, child, before thy footsteps fret to reach yon cloudy crest? Ah, the valley, angels guard it, but the heights are brave to see. Looking down were long contentment, come up, child, to me. So she speaks, but do not heed her. Little maid with wondrous eyes, not afraid, but clear and tender, blue, and filled with prophecies, thou for whom life's veil unlifted hangs, whom warmest valleys fold, lift the veil, the charm dissolveth, climb, but heights are cold. There are buds that fold within them, closed and covered from our sight, many a richly tinted petal, never looked on by the light, fain to see their shrouded faces, sun and dew or long at strife till at length the sweet buds open, such a bud is life, when the rose of thine own being shall reveal its central fold, thou shalt look within and marvel, fearing what thine eyes behold, what it shows and what it teaches are not things wherewith to part, thorny rose, that always costeth beatings at the heart, look in fear, for there is dimness, ills, unshapen float an eye, look in awe, for this same nature once the Godhead deigned to die, Look in love, for he doth love it, and its tale is best of lore. Still humanity grows dearer, being learned the more. Learn, but not the less bethink thee how that all can mingle tears, but his joy can none discover, save to them that are his peers, and that they whose lips do utter language such as bards have sung, lo, their speech shall be to many as an unknown tongue. Learn, that if to thee the meaning of all other eyes be shown, Fewer eyes can ever front thee, that are skilled to read thine own.
and that if thy love's deep current many another's far outflows, then thy heart must take forever, less than it bestows.